British Dutch Shell has made adjustments to its contracts to buy oil from Russia. Bloomberg reports that as per the contracts available, Shell will buy Russian oil if it is at least half mixed with oil from another country. The news agency wrote that in case of Shell, the company made changes to the so-called general terms and conditions of its contracts to allow Russian blending. The point is to sell a barrel of which only 49.99% is produced in Russia. According to Shell, since the rest 50.01% comes from other sources, the oil cargo is technically not of Russian origin. Bloomberg writes that the sale of such a mixture is perfectly legal since Europe has not applied any restrictions or penalties on purchasing Russian oil. In addition, the newspaper writes that blending is a convenient tool for companies to say one thing and do another publicly. According to Bloomberg, traders refer to this mix as Latvian because the mix takes place in the Latvian port of Ventspils. The trader talked about Malaysian or Singaporean blends during the Venezuelan oil export ban. The British oil giant Shell warned on 7th March that the withdrawal of its activities from Russia after the invasion of Ukraine would lead to a devaluation of assets and expenses worth 4 to $5 billion in its results for the first quarter, which will be published on 5th May. In February, Shell announced its decision to withdraw from joint ventures with Gazprom and Gazprom Neft, including Sakhalin 2. Yenisai and Salem Petroleum and cease participation in the Nord Stream 2 project. In March, the company announced that it intends to refuse participation in all Russian hydrocarbon projects and stop spot purchases of oil from the Russian Federation. In a statement, the company said that Shell has not renewed its longer-term contract for Russian oil, but the group is legally obliged to receive oil purchased under contracts that were signed before Russia invaded Ukraine. The group announced in late February that it was splitting its stake in many projects of Russian gas giant Gazprom. These assets are valued at $3 billion by the end of 2021 and were the source of adjusted earnings of around $700 million the previous year. The company was forced to apologize for buying a shipment of Russian oil at a lower price. Shell explained that it would stop all purchases of Russian oil on the spot market and close its gas stations in Russia and the activities of supplying aviation with fuel and lubricants in the country. The British government, which is less dependent on Russian liquid fossil fuels than other European countries, has said it will stop importing Russian oil by the end of the year and wants to stop importing gas over time.